Hey my friends, the guy with the red beard is back and today we are going to talk about display tablets and 10 reasons why you should probably own one. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer from Vienna, Austria and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Thank you for that, let's get started. So if you wonder what is a display tablet, it is something like, it's a screen that is sitting on your desk in an angle and you can draw on it with a special pen that comes with the display. So you basically can draw like you would draw on paper because you see what you're doing. So this is different to a drawing tablet that you can also buy, which I own. And I have never get it. I, I never became a chust to do it because it's so strange to draw down here and look on the screen in front of you. And now I have a display tablet and I can draw where I look and it is very natural and very nice. So this is actually the first reason why you probably should get one is it is very natural. It's the same movement of the hand as if you would draw on paper or canvas or any other kind of 2D medium. The second reason is if you think, hey, I already have an iPad, that is cool, you can draw on that, that is really a good starting point. But there is a difference because you can get these display tablet in really big sizes. So mine is 20 inch, I don't think the screen is necessarily 20 inch, but the tablet is 20 inch, at least that says on the package it is. And that's a pretty huge size actually to draw on. And the benefit for that is you can have really nice and big arm movements, which is very important. The hand is for details, but if you want to have fluid, alive, very nice motions in your drawing, in your actions, in your art, you need to draw with the arm, not with the hand. It's a big difference. And a bigger surface gives you more chance to do that because you have a longer way where you can go with your hands. Okay, so now we are on my desktop inside of a software that's called Krita, which is a free software, especially for digital painting. So it has a lot of features supporting that. And this is a work that I did. On the right side, you can see my work. On the left side, you can see the original and I'm copying them to learn digital painting and see what other artists are doing. Of course, you can also paint in Affinity Photo, which is not especially made for digital painting so it doesn't have as many features but it also works well and one thing I can show you here that is a reason to have a display tablet is that you have this very fluid movement um, with your hand like when you draw on a paper so there is no difference really between uh, this and drawing uh, on a piece of paper it's very nice and you can see you can do all kinds of shapes very fluently and this would be really hard to do with a mouse and another thing is that it is pressure sensitive. With this brush, when I press a little bit, I have a dry brush. And when I press very hard, I have a wet brush. And of course, I can alternate between this throughout my stroke, depending on hard, how hard I press. In this case, here's another uh, brush. You can see that this is changing the size depending on how hard I'm pressing. So this can be very useful for drawing, of course in any kind of ways or doing calligraphy or stuff like that. So this is a lot of fun. Another thing that is very useful um, for digital painting is that you can zoom and rotate things. And the reason I say this, of course, you can zoom and rotate with your mouse also. But the benefit for this when you draw with your hand is when you draw something. Let's just draw something here and then you can zoom in you can do a smaller detail with the same hand movement. So you don't really have to relearn um, the movements, especially for different sizes. You can go in and if you're comfortable with a certain size to do shapes and to move your hand, you can simply zoom in and do it there. So this is very um, helpful to work more fluently. And another thing you can do, you can rotate the canvas. You want to do an ellipse. And then you want to do another ellipse in this position. But what you can do is you can simply rotate your canvas uh, to get into the position where you feel more comfortable and do the 
um, do the ellipse there. A next point is that the workflow is really fast to work with these tools. Not only because you have here on the side these different buttons that you can program on your own and you additionally have two buttons on uh, the pen that you can use. Uh, also, you can see here, I can with my fingers zoom in and out. So this can be very helpful. When I press here, I can move my canvas around. And when I press here, I just go a step back in my work process. So uh, this can be very helpful and make things faster. And you have your specific buttons here and you don't have to remember the combinations on the keyboard. You can just press them and it becomes second nature to have your fingers here and just use these kind of buttons. Another thing that is, of course, also interesting with a display is that, of course, you it's not only um, useful for 2D, but it's also useful uh, not uh, not just for drawing or painting, but also for photo editing, where, for example, if you want to go about an outline uh, in your uh, picture to select something or to highlight something or things like that, you can be very precise with your pen and select things in a very quick way um, to, to get them there or have more like a natural stroke if you want to blend something in your photograph uh, with different kind of effects or shadings and stuff like that or sharpening different areas of the picture that can be um, very useful. But also, of course, you can do 3D work with this um, pen in a 3D software. For example, Sculptress is um, a free software that is very, very useful. It works like clay. So if you have worked with clay, it works basically the same way. Um, and that is also very nice and also a lot more fluent because you can just use your hand as you're used to withdrawing. And the last point that I want to make is that we are in a time where these displays have become very affordable. They are very expensive still if you want to have the big brand stuff uh, from Wacom, for example. Um, but as you can see, I have a very um, cheap display. So I decided to get one from a Chinese company that's called Huion. Normally it would cost, I think, 500 or 600 dollars i got mine used for 160 which was an incredibly cheap deal and i have been extremely obsessed with this display ever since i bought it i already spent over 40 hours just painting uh, picture after picture and trying out different techniques and stuff it's so much fun um, so if you can find a used one in a good condition that is pretty cheap i think that this works great it has all the features that i need okay so these were the 10 reasons of why you should probably have or buy or consider buying a display tablet. I bought one after years of considering and also especially after finding this super cheap deal. And I am extremely excited and extremely obsessed over having it and using it and playing with it and um, also growing with it in my skills. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was an interesting video and give you some inspiration on maybe getting a display, a tablet. See you in the next episode and tell me if you want to see more tutorials on how to do digital painting or draw or use a display tablet to edit photos um, in the future. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye.